Hello everyone, how's it going today? Happy Wednesday! So, we've got some uh, Lego to build tonight. Um, I got uh, the uh, Indiana Jones fighter plane chase here, and the uh, uh, barn and farm animals uh, city set, because it's got lots of animals. And uh, if we get time, uh, there is the uh, current gift with purchase, the uh, pirate ship playground. Uh, it is very, 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 very cute. Uh, and it is still available for uh, anyone who is uh, interested in getting that. So let me go ahead and put this down here for now. And that down here for now. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started on uh, the Indiana Jones fighter plane chase from, of course, The Last Crusade. That is a great picture right there. Recreating that scene in, uh, in Lego. Sort of next week for some reason. Well, could it be because of... Uh, um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Could it be because of Memorial Day? I I've had uh, Lego instruction booklets uh, have some damage before, but never quite like this. Wow, that is that is just completely uh, torn. There, I don't even know where the, uh, the piece is. Huh. And we got some stickers. It's kind of a shame that uh, the signs are stickers. Those are the ones that I am most interested in. All right, bag number three, bag number two, and bag number one. So let's get started. Could have been the massive amounts of rain you've been having. Oh, that, yeah, that could be it too. If things are uh, in a shape that they can't uh, can't hold their their things, that makes perfect sense. All right, let's spread those out a bit. So I haven't seen if they're making any uh, new sets for um, the Dial of Destiny, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, I have not seen anything about um, potential sets for that movie, uh, which is interesting because I think it was Crystal Skull that they, uh, um, they got a bunch of, uh, like they got the license for in the first place. Also scared about trying to get in Tangier? Yeah, that's a... Uh, that can be a scary one. Alright, so bag number one will be the car. So let's go ahead and make our minifigs. So we got the, uh, the fedora, which is uh, pretty nicely designed with... Uh, oops. Molded hair. Right on there. Uh, hold on a second. I am unfortunately still congested, but uh, hopefully that will be uh, fading with time. So let's see, plain pants for uh, Henry Jones Sr. Give him the head. And uh, for some reason, uh, they give him a pith helmet, which they've got a more accurate helmet, or hat. And I don't, so I don't know why they went for the pith helmet. They have more accurate hats, and they, they've they clearly shown themselves willing to make more accurate uh, um, uh, elements. So, I don't know. Yeah, and we've got uh, Indiana Jones himself. And we can give him his, uh, his whip there. There we go. And, oh, there's a one-by-one one tile. I think that might be the, uh, 
the Grail Diary. Yes, it is. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus on that. There we go. So that's pretty neat. Alright, let's see. Might have to fight and beat him. Well, good luck with that. Alright, so let's go ahead and make the sign that is at an angle. And again, I'm not going to be putting the, uh, the stickers on, but uh, this would say Berlin. Get our... A railing post there and a white triangular sign element which has a, a, a thicker uh, clip on it now these days it looks like and a tunnel sign all right <clears throat> a four by four quarter cylinder a piece two by two our 1x2 dark gray plate with rounded ends. Um, dark gray 1x1 one one tile slope. Yeah, there's no, uh, no shame in, in waiting until you feel you're ready. And then we just have a, a spiky plant here. Right there. And that's it. And then get the sign on. There we go. There is the sign. That, of course, I'm not putting the stickers on. Alright, let's see. 2 by 14. Get the uh, axle element on there. 4 by 8. And another axle element on the front. And two of the uh, two by two angled plates. There we go. All right, and one by one cylinder plates. So I like that they uh, they did a pretty good job with this uh, vehicle, making it look like the uh, the one in the movie. So I'm looking forward to uh, it being completed. There we go. And a dark gray 2x6s. Right there and there. Beige axle pins. There we go. Beige 2x2 two two corner plates on the back, and a white 1x2, right there. Alright, a pair of the uh, dark brown 2x3s with cutouts. Get those on there. And a black 1x3 tiles with two studs. And gray 3x3 three three corner, uh, curved corner plates. You're on full overtime at work now? Oof. Alright. Have a good night, sir. Thank you very much for coming out for uh, a little bit. I really do appreciate it. And good luck at work. Alright, so we got those, uh... Curve plates in, the macaroni plates. Uh, two by two in yellow, and another pair of beige two by two corner plates. So I am looking forward to the new Indiana Jones movie. It looks like they uh, are doing a pretty good job with it. It, um, 
It, it, it doesn't have Sheila Bolf, LaBeouf, so, you know, that's good. I do think that there were good things about Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I think there, there are some redeeming elements. Um, there are also bad elements. I mean, just just trying to set up Shia LaBeouf as the, like, replacement Indiana Jones was was not the best plan. <laughs> All right, black one by eight plates. There we go. And pair of black one by four tiles. There we go. And a white one by six plate back there. All right, another yellow two by two plate. All right, gray uh, two by four plate and a one by two inverted uh, curved slopes. One by two tiles in gray. Howdy, low bunny. How's it going? And we get that right on there. All right, turn it around. Get blue one by two plates with uh, bars. I'm not sure if I have any of these in blue, so that's cool. It's always good to get more pieces in colors you don't have. White one by two plates. It's going well. Better than it not going, I suppose. Uh, let's see, black 2x2 two two with side studs, and a yellow 2x2 two two plate. And another 1x6 plate in white. Alright, and this is a, a new um, fender piece. Um, it, it, it's basically a two, two bricks deep. Uh, with, of course, the uh, the actual stud elements here. Uh, but the other cool thing is that this will, I believe, perfectly fit inside a 1x6x2 arch. Um, so you can get a nice uh, uh, look to it. Uh, the first set that sh that this showed up on is actually the, uh, the Jazz Club in uh, the oven. So that's pretty cool. And, of course, one of the nice things is that you can get a very, very nice... Um, circle here uh, by stacking them against each other. So I suspect that this is going to be quite popular for uh, spaceship engines and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Not always a big fan of the fender pieces, but uh, this one this one works out pretty well, I think. If anything, it's a little bit wide. Alright, blue 1x4 with a white 1x2 plate on it. Two black 1x1s, two 1x1 upward brackets, and beige 2x2 corner plates. Uh, then we get a dark gray 1x2 panel piece and a brown headlight pieces. Brown 1x1 one one plates here to line up with the, uh, the brackets. One by two plates in white and white two by three plates, uh, tiles. All right, and that is going to get right behind the uh, blue um, plates there. So you get a nice, uh, like, the this fits in really smoothly here, so that's pretty cool. And then stickers for the doors would go on, but I'm not putting those on. Uh, 
Alright. And get a beige 2x4 tile with uh, two studs. White 1x2 inverted slopes. Uh, here in the front. Gray steering wheel. White 1x1 one one bricks. And a gray 1x2 curved top brick. There we go. Beige 2x4 brick. Gray 1x2 or 2x2 two two brick. And then a pair of white 1x1 one one sloops. And then another pair of inverted slopes right here and right here. All right, on the back, two by two corner tiles in white. There we go. That was a mistake to allow onto the belt. <laughs> so glad you got it, though. And what is that? All right, one by two uh, curved slopes right here next to the uh, steering wheel. Pair of one by one tiles with top clips. The grenade monster encounter. Why was that a mistake? All right, two by three wedge plates and a two by three tile in white right there. The uh, hood. Interesting. All right. Um, gray rocker top, one by two rocker top hinge bottom, two by two top, one by six plate and two by two gray tile that goes on there there's gonna be something that needs just a, a very thin element there not a full uh, thing does a blaze spell are you sure it doesn't have the uh, explosion like the the uh, self-destruct because uh, I think there is a... There are, there are some enemies that do self-destruct. Alright, white 2x6 two and 2x2 two, uh, two two half tiles to 1x1 one one cylinder tiles in trans red. And then for the uh, spare tire, we've got a... or the spare tire cover. Uh, a 3x3, three three, and that's about the same size. 3x3 three three cylinder tile. The tubes go onto the studs right there in the back. Only if it's low on hit points. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Three dark gray one by two plates with uh, round ends, and we get our bars with clips in black in there. There we go. And that will go on to the back. Right, hold on. Oh, I got it in the wrong place. It needs to be on the upper part, not the lower part. That explained why it wasn't clipping in. There we go. Clips right in there. So it makes a nice, uh, nice angled back there, I think. All right, gray one by ones with uh, two corner studs. 
dark gray 1x2 tile with a center stud and pearl silver 1x2 grill slopes. One by one cylinder plates with bars in gray. Get these in for the headlights. There we go. All right, and then uh, White small domes. I believe these were the uh, BB-8 heads from uh, Star Wars. I'm gonna use these as the uh, headlight elements. That looks very nice, actually. Yeah, that's a really nice head set of headlights. All right, front bumper, one by six plate, one by four half tile in gray, and a two, one by two curved slopes. With uh, angles, get that right there on the front for the bumper. All right, then we make a uh, satchel in the back, a chest, with a brown lid, flat lid from the uh, um, Minecraft sets, and the standard chest bottom, but in uh, nougat. And inside is. Henry Jones's uh, umbrella and Indiana Jones's uh, pistol. Is there a? Huh. There's a little hole on these now. That is, uh, I don't think I've seen that before. Not sure if that's large enough to have anything g stick in there. It might just be to save um, save a little bit of plastic. I don't know. It might not seem like much, but over time, that can add up to a lot of plastic. Right, let me just get that right there in the back. Get the. Uh, Two by six, or no, it's more like a three by six um, uh, fence bar piece, and this is going to be the uh, wind windshield there. And right in there, we get a, uh, a suitcase, a brown suitcase. Right there, nice. Then we get our wheels on. Oh, I was about to say that the uh, the hubs, like the, the the tires, don't seem properly aligned to the hubs. But uh, no, the the tires are smaller than the uh, hubs. I don't understand that, but I think these are probably designed for thinner wheels. Very odd. These uh, wheels and tires. Not sure how I, how I feel about the uh, the hubs, but uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and get them into the car. There we go. Trying to replicate replicate the uh, white wall look, uh, maybe, but they have other ways of doing that. So it's a very nice looking car. They did a good job. I would love to get the uh, um. 
I, I would love for them to make the uh, car that Short Round drives in um, Temple of Doom. Uh, I did have the original one that they made, and it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. All right, spare parts. We got uh, one by one tile slopes in white and dark gray, brown one by one plate, uh, brown one by one tile with a Grail Diary print, uh, one by one cylinder tiles, in, uh, cylinder plates in gray and clear, one by one cylinder tile in trans red. Uh, a black bar with clip, dark gray uh, pistol, a gray one by one cylinder plate with bar, and a spare coiled whip. Very nice. All right, bag number two. We'll go ahead and make the uh, airplane. So there was like they have the the current batch of sets. They have uh, this set, the uh, the plane chase. Um, they have uh, the Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, Egyptian Temple Escape set, where the uh, where the the uh, Ark of the Covenant was uh, was held. And they have the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, just like a, like a, a a large set of vignettes of the opening kind of gambit part with the uh, the idol and the the rolling rock and everything like that. Um, very cool. There was supposed to be a, a Temple of Kali set. Um, but it was canceled very late, like just like a couple months ago, it got canceled. There's some rumors as to why. Um, some problems with the uh, uh, what's the the priest's name? Some issues with that possible like racial insensitivity type issues. Um, it's entirely possible that it could have just been, like, uh, not very solid, not very stable. Um, there's rumors that uh, the Technic set that was canceled a while back uh, had some stability issues, and that's why it got canceled. Rather than the uh, the comment about it, it not being a... Like, they're, they're not being civilian versions of it. But who knows? All right, here we have the uh, the pilot, fighter pilot. Howdy, Mad Martin. How's it going? It's an interesting torso. I don't I don't really know what that's that diagonal stuff is supposed to represent, but what do I know? All right, two by sixteen and a two by three on top. A pair of one by twos with uh, ball joint pieces. Not bad. Just hoping Lego doesn't cancel your run for not being stable. Oh, I, I think that that. That's long past. If they were going to cancel you for uh, not being stable, uh, they would have done so by now. <laughs> All right, four by four, a double uh, slope piece here with a two by two corrugated uh, short brick. Four by four cylinder plate on the bottom. And Grenade Rage has a stronger blaze spell than the Bomb Rage does. Well, there you go. That's cool. All right, four beige one by two to two by two upward brackets. I would love for them to make a. Uh, I don't know what the like. I don't know if it's possible. Like, I. I don't think you need to license like public monuments that are old. 
So I don't think they would need to get uh, permission to use the Temple of uh, the Treasury at Petra. But I suppose that might be a hang-up to making the uh, the Grail Temple in um, in Lego. But I would love one of those. Then again, one of the uh, other things holding that up might be the fact that it's very kind of bland coloration on the... Uh, Outside, you really digging Indy's car there? Yeah, it's it's very nice, very nicely built. Two by eight here. There we go. And a pair of one by four curved inverted slopes. The Eiffel Tower with lights on is not public domain. Oh, interesting. All right, sand green one by two back there, and a one by two Technic brick with a one by two plate on the back. There we go. And a dark gray small S bracket. Two by four plate. Yeah, I mean, what I mean is like a separate license to just the Indiana Jones license for the uh, the treasury building. Then again, using like having a, a, a historical building out of context might be a little bit also iffy for them. That might be the bigger reason that they they don't do that. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there, there was uh, some new, a, a new uh, um, round of Lego Ideas sets got approved. Get two trans orange one by twos here. Um, so the sets are going to be the the orca and um, the shark from Jaws, which I'm excited for. Uh, I am a I'm a big fan of Jaws the movie, um, but. The second set, it looks really nice, but it's a sitting cat. It's lovely. I'm not exactly sure how well it'll sell. Some of those sets don't sell all that well. Um, I'm hoping that it does. It certainly wouldn't be the first, like, sculpture that they've done. Um, but I am also disappointed that there were a number of, like, Greco-Roman temples in the... Uh, in the running that also didn't get made. Uh, or that didn't get approved, I should say. And, uh, what can I say? I, I want, I want to, like, like, give me a, a castle theme that's, that's historic ancient history kind of stuff with Roman or Greek soldiers or something. I, I just, I just want it. I just want it. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. I'm greedy. I'm greedy that way. In dark gray, a 2x4 and a beige 1x2 brick. Alright, brown 1x1 one one headlight bricks and we get a gauge dial here. Actually, that goes right there. And then we have another dial here. So we got a neat little uh, control setup. I like the using the uh, bar with clip as a control stick. On a focus camera. There we go. So get a couple uh, dials in there for the uh, cockpit. That's pretty neat. You want a late Republic, early uh, mid Empire Legionary minifig? 
Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take just about anything, so. Dark Grey 2x4. More 2x4 wedge bricks and another Dark Grey 1x4. There we go. Alright, black 3x3 three three macaroni uh, plates. Sand green 2x2s. Two and dark gray 1x3 plates. There we go. And some gray 1x1s. You know what? I might be jumping the gun. They might do something different, but no, they didn't. Same thing. All right. And then a larger dark, uh, larger gray S bracket right there, locking all of that in. Gray double wedge plate, three by four, and another pair of gray one by one plates. All right, dark gray, a two by three with uh, some sand green printing, and a, a pair of one by two tiles with center studs. So they did have a similar set to this um, back in the the first wave of Indiana Jones sets, but rather than the car, they had the biplane, I believe. That they flew off of the uh, um, the uh, Zeppelin. All right, two by two angled slopes, and a pair of black one by two to two by two downward brackets. Brown three by three angled plate and a dark gray one by three. Two dark gray 1x2 tile slopes there on the bottom. And a dark gray... Oh, right, yeah, up there. Dark gray 1x10. Gray 1x8 tile. And a 1x2 grill tile. And a dark gray 1x4 tile. There we go. And here on the bottom, sand green one by one round top bricks, dark gray inverted, uh, not inverted, uh, one by one tile slope, and a black one by one tile with top clip. There we go. Flip it over on the other side, and we're basically going to do the same thing, I'm pretty sure. Yep, so far the same. There's the other uh, tile slope. And yes. Yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good on, on getting space for the minifig there and, and feeling roomy. Um, and getting, like, matching colors there on the, the top. That's pretty nice. There we go. Another one-by-one one tile slope and one-by-one one tile with a top clip. There we go. All right, on the front, uh, two by two cylinder brick with uh, Technic pinholes. Get the uh, 5L Technic bar with stop through there. Get that on there for the front propeller. All right, dark gray one by four with the 
for side studs, 1x3 plate, and 1x1 to 1x2 upward bracket. And then we use the, uh, the angled... Um, angled stud elements. I'm not sure what how else to uh, call it. Uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, exhaust or like cylinder heads or what, but uh, you do see this on a few things. There we go. Get that on there. And we're gonna, oh, we're not gonna make the other side just yet. We got a two by four, a curve top uh, piece. Another sticker would go on there with sand green elements, but I'm not doing that. And then yes, indeed, we do the other side. Okay. This is a really interesting way of, uh, of doing this, though. It does end up looking pretty good. With these angled elements sticking out. Like that. And then we top it off with that. So yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, next up, we get a gray. Actually, I missed this beige uh, 2 by 3 uh, plate there. All right, now curved top gray tile uh, slope and sand green 1 by 2 plate. And for the tail, we get uh, a pair of gray 3 by 3 curved corner elements. Uh, on the front, we get a bevel gear. There we go. I think that is a uh, 12 tooth. And another one of the uh, car fender pieces. Get that right there. It does match that uh, angle. I don't know if I ever quite realized that that was the angle that you got there. All right, that's really good. That's good to know. I did not know that. Uh, one by two tile with center stud and two by two half tile in dark gray. And then a pair of gray two by two curved slopes there. And at the back, uh, that uh, two by two uh, curved slope element with two studs. All right, so spare parts on this uh, from this bag. Uh, gray one by one plate, one by one tile with uh, dial pattern, and one by one cylinder tile with a uh, dial pattern. A uh, gray angled um, stud element and dark gray uh, aviator goggles. Uh, interesting note about the minifig, I don't think that they've had the helmet in uh, beige before, so that's new. That's pretty cool. Alright, bag number Set the uh, the wing pieces uh, to the side, and the uh, trans piece to the side. There we go. All right. On the underside, we get uh, two pairs of two by four plates with uh, 
Uh, underhanging Technic pins, pinholes. We get that one right there, and get this one right there. That'll lock in a lot of that. Trans orange boat studs. Interesting uh, pieces to put there. A 7L Technic Axle. And a black Technic Bushing, which I definitely do not have too many of those. And a pair of dark gray Technic Cams, which I don't think I've ever gotten a, uh, a dark gray one. Make sure that that's even. I'm trying to think of what colors I, I have most of these in. Probably just regular gray. I'm not even sure if I have new gray. It might be old gray. Alright, Technic half beam with uh, axle holes at the ends. 4L Technic axle and a gray half bushing. And that slides right in there. And where is the other? There's the other uh, half beam. There we go. Half bushing at the back. Black bushing up front. And then the other two cam pieces. So these pieces are pretty uh, pretty useful if you want to have um, something trigger on a regular rotation. Because, um, let's see. Like, depending on what you want to do, you can do this so that it comes around, toggles something, and then goes away. You can also do it more like uh, this, and I believe you'll get, like, a 2x2 two two, uh, cylinder shape right there. So you could put, um, yeah, so 2x2 two two cylinder thing. And then you got this sticking out, so again, cycle it around bump something, bump something, bump something, so that's pretty neat. They're really neat pieces, really useful pieces. Not that it's using them in that way in this. <laughs> this is going to be the landing gear. Alright, and then we get the beige axle pins on there. And then at the back, we get the 2x2 uh, two two cylinder plate with uh, two clips on the underside. And this is going to hold uh, a dark gray hub. Um, this hub piece, they don't usually come with tires anymore. And on one of these, you can't get a tire in it anyway. Um, but this is the original hub for uh, brick-built motorcycles from back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. You had a 2x2 uh, a two two plate with a little bit more space here before you get to the clips. So you could get a tire in there. And you get two of those, and you got your, uh, your motorcycle. Um, with this setup, uh, this basically works as a pulley or a rear wheel, a very low slung rear wheel on something like this. Okay, and then we get a uh, one by one plate and a one by two curved slope.
Well, if you can take on uh, in Tangier, uh, go for it, and good luck. That's excellent. All right, where is the other? There it is. One by two, a curved slope in a dark gray. One by one plate. There we go. Get that control stick back up. I was knocking it down. All right, so we got uh, the same piece that we've got on in many, many copies on the uh, Eiffel Tower of the uh, axle hole with uh, four bars. And start off with uh, four half bushings, slide those on. I'm impressed that I caught that. Glad it didn't decide to go on the floor. There we go. And then we get uh, our paddles for the uh, propeller blades. Yeah, it's so nice that you don't get uh, any XP on the, uh, uh, the Velt. Makes it very good for uh, grinding out uh, spell bonuses without gaining levels. I mean, the, the uh, Esper bonuses. Alright, and then a black full bushing. And we have our, uh, our propeller on the uh, front. There we go. All right, at the back, we have a 1x2 in uh, dark gray and a 1x2 slope in dark gray. A uh, 1x2 slope with uh, cutout and top tile. 1x2 curved top brick and two 1x1 plates to make the uh, curve back on the tail. There we go. All right, one by two tile slope and two gray headlight elements. All right, so this sticker would go on to the uh, um, 2 by 4 by 5 I think. Yeah. Um, curved element, but I'm not going to. And then on the front we get the uh, 2 by 4 curved angle uh, wind windshield. Uh, it, it's not quite as smooth because you got these flat sides, so the uh, the curve on the, f the the top part isn't quite right, but uh, doesn't quite match it. But it's good enough. Slide that in, and there we go. We got our uh, our cockpit canopy. All right. And then on these clips, we get our flames. All right, time to make the wings. Uh, so these wing plates, uh, the angle hasn't changed, but now they have all these uh, cutouts here, the teeth parts, and that is specifically so that you can put them down onto plates. Um, you didn't used to be able to do that. You didn't used to be able to do that. It used to be solid. So it's a trade-off. You get the uh, um, the smooth look to it without these uh, the the tooth look. Um, you can put this onto your plates, but you know you lose that smooth look. And and when you couldn't put it directly on the plate, you'd have to put it onto a uh, a tile. 
Really do love how they uh, did the front of the uh, plane with the uh, with it curved. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, and this like this curvature here, that's pretty nice as well. Yeah, they did a good job with the plane. All right, pair of black two by twos with uh, ball joint pieces and gray a two by six. Angle plates. One by two in uh, grill tile and a red one by one uh, plate. And then we get our. Uh, actually, it's a uh, pearl silver um, firing mechanism piece. And a 1x4 double curved slope. On the underside, 2x2 two two with a single Technic uh, pinhole, half pin, trans orange 1x1 one one plate with hollow stud, even. Get that right there, and then trans orange right there. And then a pair of double inverted 2x2. Two two. Get, get on there. Two by two inverted curved slopes there. Alright, there'd be another sticker on top here. And we stick those in. Alright, so, and because of the uh, the trans orange uh, one by one cylinder plate under there, um, you get this upward angle on the wings, and it doesn't wobble, like it wobbles a little bit, but it's very acceptable amount of wobble. So let's go ahead and make the other wing. And get the other firing mechanism part in there. There's the 1x4 double curved slope. 2x4 uh, curved slope there. Get these elements in so that it won't... Uh, Come down too much, and there we go. There we go. And then we're gonna do the uh, the wheels. Yep. There we go. Alright, and uh, with the wheels, it does uh, roll pretty well. Um, and with the... Like, I was wondering why they used a plate here rather than uh, a tile. And it is, again, so that the wing doesn't go upward too much. So it's really really well engineered to get you the, uh, the proper wing angles. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you can slide these uh, black one by one uh, cylinder tiles in to the wing guns and it goes all the way back there <laughs> so that's pretty neat now yeah, let's get the pilot in
There we go. And then, of course, we can uh, redo the uh, the scene. Get the wings off. Have him uh, looking to the side. If I can get his head turned. All right, need to pop it off. Very stiff early on. You can recreate the uh, the tunnel scene. I like that they made the wings easy to remove for that purpose specifically. It's great. Howdy, DJ Shadowcat. How's it going? So that is the uh, the fighter plane chase. We have a uh, quite a few extra pieces, of course. All right, so one by one plates in red and dark gray, uh, gray half bushing, black full bushing, gray uh, half pin, uh, trans orange one by one cylinder plate with hollow stud, an extra firing mechanism piece, um, and even though there's uh, a whole bunch of these one by one cylinder tiles, uh, only one of them is technically extra because there's five of them, and they come with two for each of the weapons. That's going well here as well. All right, so that is uh, that is the uh, Indiana Jones uh, plane chase. Uh, it's very nice. I, I would definitely recommend this one. I mean, all of the sets looked pretty, pretty nice. I really do want the... Uh, um, the Ark Temple set as well, but this was that one was actually on back order when I ordered, so I would have gotten that one, but I decided to get this one instead. All right, well, before we uh, move on to uh, a farm, I think you guys know what time it is. Indeed, indeed, it is minifig time. All right, let's go ahead and get our sheet out. Time for cookies. No, sadly, it's not time for cookies. I can pull out some uh, Lego cookies, maybe. Get this open. Jeez. All right, let's go with this one right here. Series 19. All right. Let's start a prediction. Can all guess what is inside the minifig pack? Get your predictions in. You've got some cookies? Well, when, when you have cookies, any time can be cookie time. Sadly, I have no cookies. I do have uh, mini uh, cinnamon rolls, though, so any time can be mini cinnamon roll time. So if, if it's Pepper Girl in a Pepper world, does that mean that uh, when she needs to go see a doctor, she goes to see Dr. Pepper? <coughs> All right. About a minute to go. Get your predictions in. Can I guess what is inside the minifig pack? And uh, there's a chance that we'd get the uh, knockoff Lego uh, Indiana Jones. The Adventurer's line was pretty clearly uh, Indiana Jones. Um, and uh, we could get uh, Johnny Thunder. That's basically who that minifig is. All right, 30 seconds to go. 
and get your predictions in. Can I guess what is inside the minifig pack? All right, so we have gotten uh, the Ghost Knight, uh, the Fright Knight, um, the Robotics Girl, the uh, Mummy Queen, uh, the Dog Walker, the uh, Pizza Mascot, uh, the Gardener, uh, the Mountain Biker, the Rainbow Bear, and the Rugby Player. So there's still quite a few left. Wouldn't you like to be a Pepper too? Hmm. I'm good being uh, being a dragon, actually. All right. Predictions are closed. So let me go ahead and get my timer ready. And go. All right. Let's see. What do we got? What, what do we got? All right. There's a... Uh, okay. Uh, 11.26. We have uh, the Bathing Beauty. Uh, we got we got bathtub man, and yes, yes that is correct, because that is in a separate bag. All right, so just over a ten seconds. Let's go ahead and choose that prediction. Well, not a whole lot of hams getting distributed here. Let's see what we got. All right, Kinshir, Cetria, Bahamut Zero, and Mad Martin going for within 20 seconds. Isovan going for 20 to 50. No one went for 50 to 60. And DJ Shadowcat and Lel Bunny going for no. It's so not a whole lot of hams getting uh, getting distributed there. Ah, I'm getting too good. I'm getting too good. Oh, hey. We got... Uh, Two uh, towels. All right, let's go ahead and put that around. Uh, also, um, here's his waist. Come on. 29 hams. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Focus camera. Look, camera, camera, it's worth it. Focus. Come on, camera. There we go. We got uh we got we got suds printing. Does this guy does this remind you guys of uh a previous uh stream that I did? <laughs> All right, so let's get his uh, waist towel on. Yes, exactly, Mad Martin. I'm glad you remembered. There we go. Bring that around, bring that around that down and then uh, before it pops off get the uh, torso on no Bahamut I did not all right I have no idea what exactly is going on with this uh, face but I had to go with it had to go with it. Get a green ducky and a medium azure brush, and uh, there we go. And a uh, a shower cap. No, I was referring to a specific uh, NPC in Yakuza Like a Dragon. There we go. And we get an extra... I'm not sure if this is supposed to be extra or if this just got stuck together. But an extra um, waist towel. There we go. Alright, so that is our uh, first uh, bathtub man. 
You love the little ducky so much. Oh, yeah, it's adorable. And it's the only one that's coming green. Uh, most of the others are yellow. In fact, I'm not sure if there are any that are not. Now that I think about it. All right, how about this one right here? All right, start a prediction. Can all guess what is inside the minifig pack? Get your predictions in. So far, we have gotten uh, Pinocchio. We have gotten um, Tiana from uh, Prince and the, uh, the Princess and the Frog. Uh, we've gotten this guy from Coco. Uh, we've gotten the um, Evil Queen. We've gotten Baymax. We've gotten Robin Hood. So what will we get tonight? So about a minute 20 to go. Taking a big risk here, voting all hams. Well, there you go. You're, you're guaranteed to uh, get a... Uh, uh, get, get a win then, you know? It's also not guaranteed. Guaranteed. And don't forget, we are still uh, working our way towards the LEGO Rivendell set. All bits do go towards that. Uh, when we get that, I will get that ordered, and uh, we'll be building that on stream. Uh, at some point after the Eiffel Tower is complete, uh, it's pretty clear that that is not going to be coming right after the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> we'll have some other stuff uh, going uh, first. You are indeed guaranteed a result. Uh, I, that I can guarantee. Results not guaranteed. All right, 30 seconds to go. Get your predictions in. All right, and uh, and guess what we uh, get uh, out of the pack, too? You know, guess which one you want to see or uh, which one you think I'm going to get. Even if you won, you don't think you'd get much out of it, looking at the hams and the uh, voting thing? That's, uh, that's entirely possible. All right, let's go ahead and reset the timer. And go. All right, what do we got? That is... What is that piece? Okay. I love these uh, pieces that are very obvious, uh, that are not necessarily unique pieces, but are unique to an individual minifig. 12.31, uh, we got Pocahontas. I, I felt the leaves, or one of the leaves. And then I look and I was like, oh wait, there's four others that have the leaves. Oh no. <laughs> yep, there we go. All right. All right, it is indeed a Pocahontas. So let's choose the outcome. Once again, people going for within the 20 seconds. Not too many hams getting distributed. A Bahamut Zero, Kinshir, Cetria, and a Mad Martin getting the hams there. Very nice. A Lord Canis, Ice Oven, DJ Shadowcott going for 20 to 50. A Lel Bunny going for 50 to 60. And no one going for no this time. <laughs> Rolls around in 40 hands. <laughs> Alright, since her hair is going to uh, cover that up, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, outfit. That's a very nice print. That and I love this hair piece too. Get coral, magenta, and orange leaves. Uh, orange isn't unique, but uh, I think the coral mag and magenta are uh, fairly unique. And she has a compass as well. Go.
Like, I love that hairpiece. That is great. There's the, uh, the compass there. That is a pretty cool. And we get an extra compass. Very nice. Alright. Mark that one off. And next up... Series 17. All right, let's see. What do we want to go with? Uh, let's go with this one right here. When did you get the compass? Heck, if I know, I don't think that I don't think I've ever seen Pocahontas. I don't think I've seen that one. All right, let's start a prediction. Can all guess what is inside the minifig pack? So far, uh, we've gotten everything except for the Surfer and the Yuppie. Those are the only two that we have not gotten out of Series 17. We've gotten at least one of everything else. Uh, I think we've gotten two of most things. We've not gotten two of either of these ladies, though. And I'm not sure if we've gotten two of the, uh, um, the Bandit. I keep thinking that we're going to be out of this guy, and we're not, so who knows. Hopes for the question mark void person. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Nope, no raccoon. Yeah, I saw, a, uh, like, Brickset had a review of uh, this set that basically was, like, good minifig, terrible accessories. Because you, uh, you just get some leaves. I mean, there are unique colors of leaves in it. The orange isn't isn't so much, but uh, the other two are. Or at least fairly unique. I think at least one is unique to that, that minifig, and the other one might be only in, like, one other set or something. I'm not sure. All right, about 30 seconds to go. Get your predictions in. Can I guess what is inside the minifig pack? I will note that these are harder to guess because they have thicker... Um, thicker packaging and smaller so the parts move around less. Let's get that. Let's see if we can get that reflection go gone. There we go. Yeah. There we go. If, if you lose, you're not losing uh, that much. Well, there you go. All right, predictions are closed. Let's go ahead and uh, reset the timer. And go. All right, let's see. What do we got? Okay. There's a torso. There is the base piece. Come on, I need something uh, unique to feel. Okay, that doesn't help me. I found the hair. Need like an accessory here. There's the head. There's the legs. Okay, there's an accessory that I can feel. Um. Okay. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. I think we got a, a gladiator. I think that's what it is. I think I finally felt the uh, trident, which is like the only really unique piece to feel in there. But let's see. Yes, it is. Excellent. Excellent. All right. 47.42. All right. Choose that prediction. Yeah, 20 to 50. There we go. Complete that prediction. Now we're talking some hams getting distributed. Uh, Lord Canis going in with 1,000, coming out with 88.88. Nice. Ice Oven Mad Martin also getting some hams. 
Uh, Cetria, Kinshir, Bahamut, Zero, and DJ Shadowcat going for within 20 seconds. Lel Bunny going for 50 to 60. And once again, no one going for no. Three for three tonight. <laughs> Time to go to a Lego version of Vegas. Only lost 570, uh, 757 hams. Ah, oh, so many hams. What will you eat tonight? What about the starving children? This is not a very long trident, I will note. There we go. So there is our uh, gladiator outfit. It's our second gladiator, uh, uh, like different type of gladiator. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and we have had him before. So we are not done with series 17 yet. All right. So that is our minifigs for the evening. All right. Nope, don't don't fall on the floor, please. Get over here. Eh. There we go. All right. So the barn and farm animals. It is a four plus set, so it's not exactly going to be a uh, like a masterpiece of construction techniques, but uh, let's go ahead and zip through that. There we go. All right. So we will start with the uh, tractor. Starving children can go after Indiana Jones. <laughs> Dang. All right, instruction booklet number two, three, four, and one. That is a lot of uh, printing there. All right, so we've got three. We've got uh, extra parts. There's one, there's two, and there is four. Okay. Extra parts we'll put over there. Is this old McDonald's deformed farm? Nope. Oh, I mean, I'm... I'm just saying that, uh, like, I mean, I got it for the uh, animals. That's pretty, uh, like... Lego pretty clearly designed this in such a way that adults would buy it for the animals. Alright, let's go ahead and make the minifig. So got a nice uh, hair bun on her. Take the uh, brown 4x4 four four plate and get our, uh, our pink piggy. And two little piglets. Oh, look at how cute they are. Look at how cute he is. So adorable, little piglet. No, we're not. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. They're they're cute. There we go. Get them in their little uh little sty, tile, plate. There we go. All right. All right, Bahamut. Thank you very much for uh, coming on out. I really do appreciate it. Have a good rest of your night. 
All right, one by four, uh, medium Azure. Actually, that's just like regular Azure, I think. Yeah. Now we just need a spider and a web. Well, that that is pretty common. I got I got tons of those. All right, we get a trailer hitch and a gray two by two curve slope. Another one by four and a pair of lime green one by four tiles. So uh, these pieces were originally in, uh, I think, helicopter sets, because you'd, you'd, you'd get this to get angled back, and then the tail would, would be right here. And a gray steering wheel there. Pair of 1x2s. And 1x2 plates with top clips. One by two with click hinge in the middle and a trans yellow one by two plate. And a two by two tile and two by two curved slope there for the front. And then we get the, uh, the roll cage element. Get that right on top. All right, DJ Shadowcat, thank you very much for coming on out. Have a, a good rest of your night. And then we have the uh, front-end loader element right there. Needs a little bit more, but, you know, it'll do. Get our large wheels... And these are molded together, which is interesting. I don't know. I don't know why the uh, the tires are molded on here. Maybe because they're so thin, they're worried about uh, them breaking. But um, it's basically like the old Technic wheels. So there we go. And that does uh, angle down a little bit. So it's a very simplistic tractor, but uh, it does its job. And then we get our trailer. Yellow 1x4 half tiles. What do I have more of at this point? Pumpkins or carrots? Oh, I'm, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that uh, I have more carrots. Carrots are an old piece. Like, I have, I have carrots that are over 25 years old. Pumpkins, those are new because those are also used as uh, uh, Chinese lanterns. I believe that's when they came out. Like, that's what they uh, came out as, and they've been adapted into uh, pumpkins. Um, on the other hand, the, like... If they would have done uh, pumpkins like 10 years ago, they would have just used uh, minifig heads in orange. In fact, they probably did. Have I not heard of composting? I can't compost plastic. And then we get another... Uh, pair of 1x6s in lime, and then we're going to get another one of these trailer hitches, and there we go. Like, the carrots are pretty big, and the reason is because they first came out in Belleville. And Scala sets. There we go. And we can put our, uh, our piggies 
in the trailer. Let's go ahead and get our lady driving. There we go. So not too bad. All right, next up, that is just showing that stuff off. All right, bag number two. What hmm, little bunny? I'm I'm curious what you're hmming about. Checking an old 90s theme. Uh, which one? Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy. This minifig made. Yeah, he's gonna be uh, super happy, having a good time on the farm. Get, uh,. Hair that's uh, a little similar to uh, how mine kind of looks right now. Maybe going for that bushy beard thing a little bit. There we go. Why am I getting an alert on my phone? Okay. It's not important. Monster Fighters? I don't think that had any pumpkins. Uh, you'd only get square pumpkins in a uh, Minecraft set. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if they had pumpkins, they would be minifig heads with printing. All right, so we've gotten lambs before in the uh, uh, the spring uh, VIP pack, but I do not have a lamb. I mean, not a lamb, a sheep, an actual sheep. We got the lamb before, though. All right, come on. There we go. Focus. There are goats, but they're only in one set that I do not have, and I want it. I want it badly. And then we can uh, make it make the sheep all uh, fluffy. There we go. And then we can shear them. That is a really adorable set of pieces there. All right, then we can make a little uh, water trough for them with a gray 2x2 two two and a pair of trans light blue 1x2 uh, three wall pardon me, three wall panels there we go alright, then we have a large 8x16 uh, plate in bright green get a pair of Pearl silver 1x2 grill tiles. Yellow 1x4 half tiles here on the sides. One by eight bricks. One by two slopes in the back, and one by one bricks with uh, side clips. There we go. And then we have these uh, large um, two by eight frame pieces for a large window piece or large d or the double doors. 
and we will put these on there. There we go. Dark gray 1x4 with light gray 1x2 bricks with side clips. Yeah, the sheep is very adorable. Very, very adorable. I am very happy to have gotten that. It's one of the reasons I got the set. <laughs> and there we go. Get that right in there. Get a trash can. Right there. And a shovel. And then we get the uh, sheep poop. There we go. Some sheep poop. Uh, 1 by 14 garage door brick. Yeah, I, I had some of those set, uh, sets and I did not remember any pumpkins. One by eight bricks, one by one bricks with uh, clips. Go. All right. Two by two corner tiles in yellow, and one by four half tiles. Another pair of uh, half tiles and two by two corner tiles. There we go. And then the other two pearl silver grill tiles. Okay, then we uh, start making the doors, barn doors. One by four brick, one by two brick with side bar, one by six yellow plate, a one by six by five wall element with a window pane or window uh, opening. So you can get the uh, any of the window pane elements in there. I hate when they have the uh, the mold mark so very obvious right there. It's uh, it's kind of a blemish. Well, I mean, you can see what pieces they use. And then look that piece up on uh, Bricklink. So get one door in. And we'll go ahead and make the other door. There we go. And there we go. We got our... Uh, our barn doors here. Extra pieces, extra sheep poop, and an extra pair of pearl silver shears. You're not that curious? All right. I mean, if you link me to one of the videos, uh, I can, after the stream, I can let you know. All right, so let's put the uh, water trough back there in the corner. And we'll get the, uh, the sheepy in here. Farmer's about to shear him. And little lamb going to get some water. There we go. It's very cute. All right. Bag number three. I mean, there's plenty of other round pieces. If they've been in uh, orange, Lego may not have used them as uh, pumpkins, but they could still be used as pumpkins. Well, if you ever get curious, I can I can tell you pretty easily. 
All right, next up we got the uh, upper level for the the barn. These are really interesting uh, um, elements. Like, there's not a whole lot that you can get in in there that fits this. You'd have to get another one of these uh, eight by eight ones and do that. And we get two eight by eight uh, plates there. Oh, what? That I can tell you, or that uh, Lego like? I mean, this could be a pumpkin if it's an orange. A two by two cylinder brick can be a pumpkin in orange. You just gotta, you know, put some stuff on top. A two by two dome. That could be a pumpkin. I mean, it's Lego. It's all just bricks. Alright, we get the little uh, boy. He feels like he has a big forehead. I don't know. It's a nice uh, set of overall uh, overalls on the uh, torso. Not digging the hair too much. Does kind of give him a big forehead. All right. Uh, two by two brick, two by two uh, tile with center stud, and a little gray squirrel. So cute. Well, it would only get a uh, reissue if it would actually sell well. I don't know how well the hidden side sets sold. I think they were they did it for two years, but a right, pair of two by two by three bricks there. One by two by three, and a two one by ones with clips. There we go. And red one by two tile slopes. All right, and then a pair of white one by eight bricks. And we get a red uh, one by uh, four by three window frame and red uh, internal shutter doors, which uh, I don't think I have ever had any in red, so that's cool. Big fan of these pieces, so that is very nice to get some. There we go, one by two uh, with uh, rail. And a gray one by two by one and two plates with side studs. And then on top of this, we get our one by eight by two arches. Well, it doesn't require an app. The sets are the sets were interesting uh, to build, build and look at. So. All right, red 1x4 plate and two 1x6 yellow tiles. We get our large 1x6x5 slopes in white here. Sure, but it still was essentially... Uh, worked on the strength of its sets. If it, if it lasted for two years then it did okay enough to not be canceled immediately. <laughs> Alright, and then we have uh, the uh, logo of the farm, and it's a printed tile. That's cool. 
All right, then we have the uh, eight by eight by uh, two plates with uh, cutouts and extra one by four sticking out. Get one by two plates with bars. Like the video line was was uh, built on that as well, and it did not do well, and it it got canceled way early. Stuff got on heavy discount. Um, so that was, I mean, that was definitely not terribly successful. I don't actually know how well the uh, hidden side sets did. And then you got things like Ninjago and the upcoming uh, Dreams sets, which actually might be out tomorrow. Or technically in... 2 hours, 15 minutes. <laughs> 2 years is not bad. These days. For, for a non-perpetual uh, line, yeah, 2 years is not bad. I mean, it's two years of getting new stuff. Midnight Lego Store Run. And then a 2x2 two two cylinder brick in red with uh, Technic holes. Friction pin in there. And then we take the... Uh, winch part and get a chain attached. Clip that on right there. And we'll just go ahead and bring that up. There we go. And we can have another bale of hay dangling from it. I mean, I do think that uh, the app stuff has not done very well. Kind of amazed how long Ninjago has lasted. Oh, yeah. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure that is not something that was, like, planned out to last this long. All right, let me get a, a bed up here. I don't know why there's a bed up here, but there is. Uh, my favorite pitchfork. Get that right in there. There's actually a gray pitchfork that I have not gotten. I'm I'm disappointed. And we'll get the uh, bale of hay over here with the squirrel on it. And we have an extra black friction pin. So there we go, we got our, uh, our basic barn. You can open the uh, lower doors to see the, uh, the sheepies. Look in the uh, upper floor for the little kid who apparently is relegated to sleeping in the bed up in the barn loft with his squirrel friend. All right. Then we go for bag number four. There we go. I mean, I'm not exactly sure when this piece was introduced, but it was pro it might have been uh, in the early days of uh, Ninjago, or it might have been with the uh, Monkey Kid sets. Um, I don't know, but it I'm pretty sure it coincided with the uh, big push into the Chinese market. Because that's one thing that they were used for, is the lanterns. Alright, let's go ahead and make our uh, minifig. Speaking of Indiana Jones, this hairpiece originally came out for um, 
uh, the that Russian soldier lady from Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Come on, focus. Focus. All right. Camera does not want to focus. Oh well. And she gets a bright orange brush. All right, and let's go ahead and get out our cow. Fill in the uh, center section there. Hmm, this cow's uh, head feels loose. And then we get the cow horns on. There we go. Also, it has an udder. Yeah, Kate Blanchett's character. Thank you. And our little calf. Oh, look at how cute he is. Look at the little cutie. All right, so we get a rectangular crate, put a carrot and a pumpkin in there. There we go. All right, eight by eight uh, with half cylinder on the end, one by four in dark gray. Gold one by two, or a pearl gold one by two uh, tile with center stud and a spigot. Get the old bullhorn piece and a flexible tube, which has been around since mid mid 80s. Get the uh, trans light blue flame piece in there. There we go. Get that just uh, you know, whee. have that uh, wobble around there. Blue 2x2 two two cylinder brick, yellow 2x2 two two cylinder plate, and white 2x2 two two, uh, cylinder tile with center stud. A yellow Technic axle. Does it tell me what length it is? No, it does not. I think that's five. Then we have the uh, brush element, which is uh, first came out in the... Early 90s, I think. And a 2x2, two two, uh, not 2x2, two 1x1 two, one one blue cone on top. And that we get onto the side there. And there we go. The uh, cow can rub up against it to... Alright, that is, that is tight. Let's see if I can loosen this a little bit. There we go. There we go. Rub up against it. Uh, these pieces were originally in the um, in a car wash set. There's also a street sweeper set that had uh, that used it. All right, so we got a brown uh, four by four half barrel and a three by three tile that fits uh, pretty well in the bottom of that. And let's get some pearl silver 1x2 grill tiles. Grab a 1x6x5 clear panel. 
three brown 2x4 uh, tiles with two studs. Get a pair of carrots in here. I don't know why the carrots are sticking out of the ground like this, but uh, they are. Don't question it. Two more pumpkins. There we go. And our uh, lime green watering can. They're always lime green. And then we get our other clear panel there. Top it off with a... 3x6 slope. Pair of them in clear. There we go. And get a butterfly on a top. There we go. Little uh, Nice little greenhouse. Get our cow in there. Have this lady hosing down the uh, little calf. There we go. Getting the cows all nice and clean. That's very, very cute. And there she goes popping up. All right. Extra pieces. We got a uh, cow horn and a carrot top in bright green. So those are the extra pieces. This is the, uh, um, the farm set. Uh, overall, like the, the construction and uh, the number of pieces, not great, but the farm animals, absolutely fantastic. I'm very happy to get the farm animals. Uh, another cow, little calf, lady who's uh, just going to be uh, popping around there, our uh, sheep and lamb, our cow and piglets, very, very cute. The piglets are adorable. They're probably my favorite of the uh, the animals in this. And let's see. Then we get the inventory. That's fine. And I think since uh, we've got a little bit of time, and I don't mind going a teensy bit late, I think we are going to build the pirate ship playground. Uh, it's a very cute looking set. Only has 168 pieces. And uh, it's uh, it's really nice. I think it'll be a fun, fun little build. There's bag two, bag one. Here's the instruction booklet. We got another one of these plates. We got a uh, short slide. And let's see, that is right there. There we go. Lady is now holding on to a crazy spraying hose. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's going a little nuts. It's going a little nuts. Uh, this is a current gift with purchase, so if this is uh, something up your alley, uh, you can get it on Lego.com right now or in a Lego store. All right, let's see. Starting out with a minifig, a little kid, playing pirates. And you can swap the, the, uh, like the head around and get some different legs, and you've got a, uh, a good pirate right here. Um, some people were uh, were commenting that they would have liked to see a brown sword for a wooden sword or, like, an off-color one for, like, a, a foam weapon. And that would have been neat. That would have been neat. I got, I got so many uh, sabers. It's ridiculous. All right. 4x6 and a white 2x3. Get another 4x6 and a 1x4x2 arch. 
pair of a two by sixes. And we get side stud pieces. There we go. Yellow two by two plates. All right, pair of gray one by one bricks with horizontal side clips and white one by one bricks. Okay, brown, two by two by two slopes. There we go, and there we go. All right, then uh, on one side we get a blue, and on the other a bright yellow uh, curved corner six by six plate. All right, blue two by six. Azure two by or uh, two by three, Azure two by three plate and a pink two by two brick. Uh, we're actually going to do two of these, so let's go ahead and uh, do just that. Then a pair of medium nougat uh, half arches and another Azure two by three plate. And then up on top, uh, one by two by one and two plates, bricks with uh, side studs on all but one side, which is uh, pretty impressive. I do like those pieces. They're very specific in their usage. But when you can use them, they're good. There we go. Get that one there and that one there. All right, one by six plate down here at the bottom and red one by one cylinder plates. Looks like how I uh, leave Minecraft ships. <laughs> All right, nougat, six by six angle plate. We got a brown one by four tile with a uh, uh, wood board printing, which is kind of nice to get. And a two black two by two cylinder tiles with uh, hollow centers for like a cannon look. And also, I just realized that this is supposed to go this way. That goes there. Now we do the other one. Uh, let's see. There's the uh, one by four uh, tile. There we go. So we got that little uh, design there that on there and then a bright orange macaroni tiles four by four macaroni tiles there we go and the slide goes in there there we go I believe this will connect up with the uh, um, the curved slide that I got in the Friendship Treehouse. Hmm, pardon me. Uh, but I've never actually had one of these before, so that's cool. And bright orange ingots on the back here. And a brown lattice piece for the ladder. Uh, these also fit in 
uh, one by four by three window frames if you want to like do some prison bars kind of thing. All right, we get some brown one by two tile slopes, basically creating a ladder. There we go. And then on the other side, we got one by one cylinder tiles with top pegs to basically make like a, uh, a rock climbing wall type thing. So we got dark pink, we got azure, and uh, bright lime green. Yep. That's pretty cool. I like that. Fun little things for uh, for the kitties to do on the playground. More half arches. And brown two by sixes. And a bright orange double wedge plate there, four by six. All right, bright yellow two by four tiles and a gray two by four plate. And then we get some more of the curved corner plates. And then the 8x8 eight eight right here in the middle. There we go. Another pair of bright yellow 2x4 tiles. Kitties, pirate kitties. Unfortunately, no pirate kitties. All right, bright uh, or light azure and 2x3 uh, tile and a two white 2x2 two uh, turntable base tiles. And that is it. So we got uh, uh, an extra saber, extra 1x1 one one cylinder plate in red, and extra 1x1 one one cylinder tiles with top peg in uh, azure, uh, br a dark pink, and bright lime. There we go. Alright, bag number two. There might be some kitty heads in, well, yeah, I, I can't think of any kitty heads uh, that you could put on them to make uh, pirate kitties. It doesn't mean that there aren't any, I just might not be thinking of them. Alright, let's go ahead and make our minifig. So again, another uh, good torso for pirate use. Just got to swap out the uh, head and legs. And then we get a tricorn hat in black. It puts the uh, the feather piece uh, to the front. I don't know why. I always want to put it on uh, either the uh, back right or back left corner. Either one doesn't, doesn't matter to me, but got to have that in the back. And he also has a saber. So we got an extra saber. Again, I think. There we go. So another pirate kitty. All right. And then a gold treasure chest. And inside, we get a pair of gold ingots and a trans pink gem.
You can just go ahead and put that there. All right, nougat two by two by three slope, and a nougat one by two tile with center stud, and a gold frog for the bowsprit, and get that right there on that end, and a nougat two by two tile on the other end. All right, pair of brown 2x2 two two half tiles. Beige 1x2 brick with a sidebar. And get five of those stacked up, it looks like. Yeah, five of those stacked up. So that's two, three, four, and five. And then we get uh, the dark gray one by two by one and two plates. Uh, bricks with uh, side studs on uh, three sides. There we go. Brown two by six plates on the sides. We get a... Um, Nougat half barrel for the uh, crow's nest, and that goes right on top there. That that seems like something that uh, would not fly here in the U.S. from for <laughs> risk of falling purposes. All right, pair of dark gray one by two. Plates and a nougat two by six. Of course, this has got nothing on some of the uh, the fun jungle gym stuff that I had as a kid that I I played on. Man, I love those things. They're so good. All right, and then another pair of bright orange macaroni uh, tiles there. All right, we're gonna make a ship's wheel. There we go, a simple one for the kitties. Uh, one by twelve brown plate and a two a two by six double curved corner plates, and that we get right up there for the sails. And then we get a pair of the uh, large 4x4 four four cog elements. Alright, red 2x4 plate and side stud elements. Another pair of side stud elements. And one by two plates with top Technic pinhole. And dark gray half pins with friction. Let's get those in there. And one by two curved slopes. Two by four plate on the front. Or actually, that's probably the back. And one by four double curved slopes. Two by four on the front again. One by two a tile with a center stud and get a pair of eyes. Make it very happy looking. Uh, there we go. Rather than be kind of sinister if it was like that. And another uh, one by four double curved slope. And a four by four dome 
flat dome for the uh, top. Have it spitting out some water. And we get some dinosaur tails here for the tentacles. And that will go right there. So you can have the uh, the sea monster moving and attacking. All right, dark gray one by two and green one by two with axle pin. Another dark gray one by two. Uh, a crab here on the bottom there, red one. Dark gray one by two plate and one of the dark gray rock thatch pieces. We get a curved nougat fence there and we get a flower up on top. There we go, with some green leaves. All right, dark brown uh, axle connector and a friction pin on top. Pin connector and a dinosaur mid-level mid-end tail and the beige uh, pine tree, uh, not pine tree, palm tree uh, leaf holding element. So this originally came out in uh, the pirate sets to hold the uh, leaves exactly like we're going to be doing in a moment. Uh, obviously, you can also put some pieces in there and get something on top and make a, uh, um, a lantern. They did that as well. But you slide the palm fronds on here. Actually, let me go ahead and take that off so it's easier to do. Get them alternating. There we go. And these are smaller palm fronds, not the uh, the big ones from the original sets, original pirate sets. But that's okay. Uh, the very original uh, palm trees would then have a green 2x2 two two cylinder plate on and a green 1x1 one one cylinder brick in the middle. Uh, later on, they'd often uh, ignore the, um, uh, the cylinder brick on top and just use the 2x2 uh, two two plate. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't do that because you got these very obvious uh, beige pieces here. Um, I don't think I have one of these in beige. The palm trees would have these in brown and very rarely green. Let me uh, slide that in there. And indeed, we can get our uh, octopus plaything to move around there. Get, get the little girl on there, get the little boy up here. And uh, there we go. Here is the, uh, the pirate playground set. It is very, very cute. I am very happy uh, that I got it. It's also great for uh, some pirate elements. And uh, have the uh, little boy slide down the slide. Wee. So it's a good set. It's a it's a very good little set. Uh, lots of good pieces as well. Um, I like the uh, you know the little things that the kids can play on back here to get up to the top. You got the um, the ship's wheel, uh, the ladder up to the crow's nest. And then, of course, you've got your 
pirate treasure that they can be uh, fighting over here. Right, that's not going to open with that in that position, but that's okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, no, this is a, it's a fun little build, good pieces, um, uh, an ad just an adorable set. Oop, I should probably uh, move that down there. Um, and yeah, the uh, the leaves do a turn. They, they can't, they don't spin on their own, but they, they move pretty freely. All right, extra pieces. We got a friction pin in black, a friction half pin in dark gray, another extra saber, an extra trans pink uh, gem, an extra uh, pink dark pink flower, and an extra one by one cylinder tile in white with a uh, eyeball pattern. So it's a good set. Um, definitely worth uh, worth picking up if you're going to be uh, making an an order. So I want to thank you guys for coming on out. We'll go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, let's see if there's anyone that I... Yeah, okay. Um, so we will be back on Friday uh, for some more Final Fantasy III Pixel Remaster. We will be back on Friday night for more Eiffel Tower. Uh, continuing on, probably wrapping up the, uh, the middle section, getting started on the top section then. Um... We will not be back on Saturday for Spelljammer. We are off another week. Uh, and then we will be back next Monday for more Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, and then next Wednesday we will be back to uh, both Retro in the morning and uh, building something else uh, in the evening. And I have I know exactly what we're going to be building uh, next week, and it is going to be a fun build. So I want to thank you guys for coming on out, and we will be back next time. See you then, everyone.